Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me for this Unreal Engine tutorial which will show you how you can easily and quickly simulate physics in your Unreal Engine levels. Right now, as you can see, I have my level open up here. This is something I used in my previous Unreal beginner tutorial, so please check them out on my channel as well. For this video, we're going to focus on this area right here, where I'm going to add a few spheres and then enable physics or add physics, simulated physics to them. So just a quick intro, there are a lot of things in Unreal Engine that are pretty complicated. Simulating physics on a basic level isn't one of them. To do that, you're actually using a preset element right here that you can manipulate and I'm going to show it to you right now. But first I'm going to add a sphere to my level here. I'm going to focus on it. And I'm going to add a material to the static mesh. And that material is going to be, let's say some kind of a stone. Cut stone, for example, here it is. And after that, to enable simulate physics, you need to only use this right here. So let me collapse these menus so this is clear to see. As you can see, it's right here. You can find it under physics if you uh, want to search it like that. And to do it, you simply need to, first of all, check the simulate physics option here. So let me show you how the same sphere looks like when it's in the scene, but the simulate physics option is not turned on. I'm in the game and here it is, here it is the sphere, but it is simply levitating. As you can see, I can leave it in the scene, I go through it, I can interact with it in a sense that I, it's not uh, completely transparent or non-material, it's not something I can go through, it has its colliders on, but it's not moving in any shape and form. To do that, I need to use the simulate physics element. And when I check it out, when it's active, to show you what physics means, I'm going to put it slightly up, so it's levitating, and I'm going to start my level. And there it is, as you saw, the same sphere dropped down and here is my interactivity. I can move it around and I was going to fall off the edge of the level. So that is the basic element, the first step that you can employ to get that simulated physics start, started in your level. So there are several elements that you can kind of manipulate here and I'm going to focus on this one. It's not checked out presently. And it's mass in kg, which stands for kilograms. And it is the basic element that you can manipulate to define different kinds of interactive processes that you can get with your actors that can weigh different amounts of kilograms in the same universe. So right now it's fixed on somewhere around 110 kilograms, but we're going to change that and we're going to change that to different settings for different spheres. So I'm going to make another of these and I'm going to, first of all, add mass in kilograms here to let's say 200. Then I'm going to copy and paste the same sphere here, but set it to 400 kilograms. And finally, I'm going to make another copy of this one here. So that's sphere three, and I'm going to set it to, let's say 800 kilograms. So let's see how all of these behave in the level itself. I move this one with some effort. This one moves with a lot more impulse because it's uh, a lot less heavy. And finally, as you can see, this moves slightly easier than the first one. Now, if I go back into the game world and change this 
to let's say 8000 kilograms we'll have a slightly different behavior once again so as you can see I can move this but it requires a lot more effort the same goes for shooting at it with my default gun and now it moves travels with its original impulse these do it as well because the terrain right here is not completely level it's that it has a sm slight dip towards this edge and they fall down acting basically as if they are working inside of a system that has gravity that is the main element of physics here the actual simulation of gravity as the level is set where all of these things behave not only inside of the level but with each other as gravity would dictate it based on this mass more precisely this weight in kilograms that is actually impacting their behavior so there you go it's a really simple process it's a really simple element the great thing about unreal engine is that it comes with a lot of preset elements that interact not only with the level but also with each other so you could i could add a lot of different spheres here that would all interact i'm going to do it now in a different way once the same system gets going and actually can result in a, a range of interactive moments when these bump into each other or interact with the terrain and everything else so here it is they're starting to move i'm going to give a bit of impulse here and a bit of impulse here and as you can see there are all active and all moving at the same time through the very basic preset of unreal engine which is simulate physics or more precisely physics and then simulate physics as the element so that's it this is basically all there is to it to start simulating physics in your unreal engine levels only find it for your actors and activate it and then you can play around not only with mass in kilograms with all of these other factors and elements that will provide you with many different possibilities especially inside of your built games where players can interact and influence things in a pretty interesting manner all through this really excellent and ingenious actually simulated physics option that's all for this tutorial hope you found it useful it's a really simple really straightforward thing and hope you can have a lot of fun with it and create some amazing things in your unreal engine levels games and everything else my name is ivica thank you so much for watching please check out my other beginner tutorials and don't forget to leave a comment if you have any questions or want to share something with me also a like would be very much appreciated and if you're interested in unreal please consider subscribing to my channel and being right here for my future videos until that future video that's all for this one have a great day and a lot of fun in your unreal engine projects bye bye